Hi, this recording is to let you know how to use the mobile apps for Office 365 on your smartphone. The first thing you want to do is go to the App Store, um, depending on the type of smartphone that you have, and you'd like to download the OneDrive app, the Teams app, and the Word app. So across the top of my screen, you can see what those different apps look like. So once they're downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to click on OneDrive, and you're going to click Sign In. You're going to click Sign In with your Brentwood email address. So for the students, what your Brentwood email address is, your Windows username at bufsd.org. It is not an email address, it's just a way to get you into the system. So whatever your Windows username at bufsd.org, and then whatever your current password is to get you into the computers. So the same way that you would log into the computers in the school district. So once you're logged in, you're gonna go to OneDrive. So OneDrive, you can see across the bottom there you have files so those are your own personal folders and individual files that you have you have your recent section so anything recent that you've accessed or modified will show up here your shared section so if you happen to share a document with another student or your teacher um, or someone shares something with you you can locate it here so in your file section to create something new, you're gonna hit that plus arrow on the top. So when I hit the plus, this gives me option to take a picture, scan something, create a folder, upload something, create a new Word doc or PowerPoint. So if I create a Word doc, it's gonna prompt me to give it a name. So I'm just gonna name it test and hit okay. And then you're gonna choose open with Word, always since you downloaded that app already. So you've already saved it in your OneDrive, so you always have access to it. And now you can edit this Word document as you need to, to create and do your assignments. So it'll bring up your, your formatting toolbar at the bottom, and then of course you can start typing in whatever you want. So same way that you would access Word. So to save it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit that little check on the left-hand side. And now all your changes are saved, at the top you see saved. So now if I go back to my OneDrive, there it is at the bottom there. So that's a nice way to start creating and saving your files in the cloud in your OneDrive account. So I'm gonna close this out. So the next app that we're gonna go into is your Teams app. So your Teams app is the place that you're gonna locate your um, classes that your teachers have for you, where they're gonna start creating assignments for you things like that. So when I click on Teams, I have a toolbar at the bottom there. So I have the activity bell. So you'll notice that little red circle with a number in it. It just lets you know that three new um, pieces of activity have taken place in any of the classes that you're a part of. You have the Teams icon. So the Teams icon gives a running list of all the classes that you're a part of. So for this demo here, I have three classes. I have IT Digital Classroom, I have IT Digital Classroom 2, and IT Digital Classroom 3. So those are three classes that I'm a part of. So when I click on any one of those, I can go in and see posts, files, assignments that my teacher has done for me. So when I click this arrow next to IT Digital Classroom, I have some information in the general channel. I have this Abraham Lincoln sample, introduction. So the way that the teacher broke it down for me here was by category, the way she organized it by unit. Same thing with IT Digital Classroom. I just, every class and every team that you're a part of has a general channel. So that's just a nice way to kind of see all the classes that you're a part of in a digital environment. You have your assignments tab at the bottom here. So the assignments tab allows your teacher to create digital assignments that you can do um, instead of physically handing in a piece of paper, you complete it online and the teacher can grade it digitally and provide feedback for you digitally. So you don't have to email her. You don't have to physically hand it in. Everything is done right here within the um, app itself. So what you're going to do is when you click on assignments at the bottom, you're going to click the class that you want to go in and complete that assignment for. So I'm just going to choose the first one, the IT Digital Classroom, and click Next. 
So you can, you can see that I have one assignment waiting for me to do that's assigned. So as the student, what you're going to do is you're going to click on writing assignment one. And it gives you the title of the assignment, the, the time and date that it's due, instructions for what they want you to do, my work, which is when we click on that, you're going to see the assignment that you have to do and the points that, that are awarded for you. This plus add work, when I click on it, allows me as the student to pull in additional resources that I need to attach to that assignment before I can turn it in. So you may or may not need that, but it's there. So you can upload something from your OneDrive. You can attach a hyperlink, upload something from your device, such as a picture or a video. So I'm going to hit the back arrow. So for me to view this assignment, what I'm going to do is where it says my work, I'm going to actually click where it says assignment one webinar. So when I click on that, it opens it up in a Word doc because that's how it was assigned to me. So at the bottom there, because you've already downloaded the Microsoft Word app ahead of time, when I click on that, it's gonna open it up in Microsoft Word Online, allowing me to type in the answer that I need to on this document. So when I click the pencil button at the top, now it opens that document up for me to type in. So I'm just gonna answer this question. So I just wrote digital learning is fun. So what I'm gonna do is on the left, that little check, and you can see it's automatically saving for you. So there's no need to save it anywhere. It's automatically saving right in the document as you're typing. So I'm gonna hit this check on the left hand side and I'm gonna hit the back arrow to back out of the assignment. So you're closing the assignment out. I'm gonna go back again. So if you are done and you like what you've done, on the top right, you have a turn in button. Once you hit that turn in button, that assignment that was assigned to you by your teacher, she will get a notification that assignment was turned in. She can grade it and provide feedback for you. And then once that assignment is graded and feedback is done, it's then returned back to you. So you can see the grade that you received on it. So when I hit turn in, you get that cool little icon on the side there. And now your assignment is turned in. So at the top, it gives you a timestamp of when that assignment was turned in. You do have the option to undo a turn in. So on the top right, you'll see it says undo turn in as many times as you want to modify that assignment until that due date, which you'll see under where it says writing assignment number one, the due date is April 2nd at 1159. So come midnight, April 3rd, you can no longer undo the turn in. So it's, it's a final, um, assignment at that point. So that's how you would turn in an assignment. Now, if you wanted to just type on a regular Word document, again, you'll have that Word document, um, the Word app already downloaded on your phone ahead of time. So you can click Word. And at the top there, you have the plus sign. So when I click the plus sign, this allows me to create a new blank Word document and you'll see create in at the top, it's gonna create it and save it into your OneDrive automatically. So everything can be done on mobile apps, um, whether through OneDrive, through Teams, doing assignments, everything can be done within your phone as long as you have those apps downloaded ahead of time. So I hope this tutorial um, was good for you. Um, good luck.